Welcome to the edge of nowhere. This is the Ran of Kutch in Gujarat, India, a sprawling desert where the ground sparkles with salt, the heat hits you like a wall, and the horizon seems to melt into the sky. It's a place that feels forgotten by time, until now. Rising from this sun-scorched wilderness is the Kavda Solar Park, a renewable energy colossus so vast it dwarfs entire cities. Covering 726 square kilometers, five times the size of Paris, this hybrid marvel blends solar and wind to churn out 30 gigawatts of clean power. That's enough juice to light up 18 million homes, or a small country, every single year. Announced in 2021, it's India's bold answer to a world crying out for sustainable energy. But turning a desolate wasteland into a global power hub? That's a tale of grit, genius, and a little bit of madness. Buckle up, we're diving into the Kavda Solar Park, where the desert isn't just waking up, it's roaring to life. Ancient temples share the skyline with gleaming skyscrapers, and where energy powers everything from Bollywood studios to roadside chai stalls. But here's the catch, over 50% of that energy still comes from dirty, smoky, planet-choking coal. It's been the backbone of India's grid for decades, but it's buckling under the strain. Cities like Delhi drown in smog, rural areas face rolling blackouts, and with energy demand set to double by 2040, the old ways won't cut it anymore. India's at a crossroads, stick with the past or leap into a cleaner future. In 2015, the government threw down the gauntlet, 500 gigawatts of non-fossil fuel power by 2030. That's a moonshot, and Kavda's the rocket. Nestled in Gujarat, a state already famous for its wind farms, this project isn't just a power plant, it's a statement. But why here, in a desert so remote it's practically off the grid itself? Let's find out. India's renewable journey didn't start with Kavda, it's been simmering for years. Back in the early 2000s, the country dipped its toes into solar and wind, scattering small projects across sunny plains and windy coasts. Gujarat led the charge, its coastline sprouting wind farms like mushrooms after rain. By 2019, India had 80 gigawatts of renewable capacity, but nowhere near enough. Then came the big promise, 500 gigawatts by 2030, part of a global pledge to slash emissions and dodge climate chaos. Kavda was born in 2021, spearheaded by Ardani Green Energy, with a mission to deliver 30 of those gigawatts in one go. Why Kutch? It's got relentless sunshine, steady winds, and vast, empty land, 726 square kilometers of it, to be exact. But there's a twist. It's 70 kilometers from the nearest town and just a kilometer from the Pakistan border. This isn't just a power play, it's a geopolitical flex, proving India can build big, even in the toughest spots. Now, let's get under the hood of this beast. Kavda isn't your average solar farm, it's a hybrid titan, packing 26 gigawatts of solar panels and 4 gigawatts of wind turbines into one seamless operation. Why both? Simple, the sun clocks out at night, but the wind doesn't. Together, they deliver a steady stream of power around the clock, smoothing out the ups and downs of renewables. It's like pairing a sprinter with a marathon runner, they cover each other's weaknesses. But building this in the Kutch Desert? That's a whole different ballgame. Temperatures soar to 50 degrees Celsius, 122 degrees Fahrenheit for our American friends, turning the site into a giant oven. Dust storms whip through, coating everything in grit and water so scarce you'd trade gold for a bucket. Enter the tech, waterless cleaning robots. These little champs scoot across the panels, brushing off dust without wasting a drop, crucial in a region where every litre counts. The wind turbines? They're custom-built to handle desert gusts, standing tall against sand and heat. Let's break out the calculator. Kavda's price tag is a hefty $19.6 billion, about 1.6 trillion rupees, if you're counting. That's a mountain of cash, but the returns? They're seismic. At full blast, this park will pump out 81 billion kilowatt-hours of electricity annually. To put that in perspective, that's enough to power 18 million Indian homes, or all of Belgium, for a year. 
Cavda sparked 15,200 jobs so far, from engineers designing turbines to locals maintaining panels, injecting cash into Gujarat's veins. Then there's the ripple effect, less coal imported means billions saved, boosting India's energy independence. And the green bonus? It's slashing 58 million tons of CO2 yearly, equivalent to yanking 12 million cars off the road. This isn't just an energy project, it's an economic juggernaut, proving clean power pays off in more ways than one. Hooked on this desert energy? Hit that subscribe button and join us at Global Builds for more mind-blowing projects around the world. Stick with us, there's plenty more to unpack. Kavda's more than numbers, it's people. In rural Gujarat, power's been a luxury, not a given. Blackouts cut kids off from homework, farmers from irrigation, and doctors from life-saving tools. Now, with 18 million homes set to tap into Kavda's grid, that's changing. Picture this, a girl studying late for her exams, a farmer watering his fields without worry, a small shop buzzing with customers, all because the lights stay on. On the ground, 15,200 workers, of which many are local, have steady jobs, building futures alongside these panels. It's not just electricity flowing, it's opportunity, hope, and a better shot at life. For a region long overlooked, Kavda's a lifeline, proving clean energy can lift communities, not just stats. Then there's the planet. India's been wrestling with a pollution crisis, think Delhi's air so thick you can taste it. Kavda's fighting back, slicing 58 million tons of CO2 from the atmosphere every year. That's like planting a forest the size of Mumbai, or kicking 12 million gas guzzlers to the curb. But it's not just carbon. In a desert where water's worth its weight in gold, those waterless cleaning robots are heroes, saving millions of liters that'd otherwise vanish into thin air. It's a double win, cleaner skies and smarter resource use in a land that desperately needs both. Kavda's showing that green tech isn't just good PR, it's survival. But let's not sugarcoat it, Kavda's a beast to build. The desert doesn't play nice. Sandstorms bury equipment, heat fry circuits, and the nearest town 70 kilometers away. Then there's the border, Kavda's a kilometer from Pakistan, so the border security force keeps a hawk's eye on every move, adding red tape to an already tough gig. Tech-wise, sinking 26 gigawatts of solar with 4 gigawatts of wind is like herding cats on a tightrope in a windstorm. Grid stability's a puzzle, and one misstep could dim the lights. Costs are ballooning too, $19.6 billion is just the start when you factor in delays and desert curveballs. It's a high-stakes gamble, and the teen's playing with fire, or at least a lot of sand. So, where's Kavda headed? By July 2026, it'll hit 30 gigawatts, powering nearly 10% of India's renewable goals. That's a game-changer for a country racing to ditch coal. But zoom out, and it's bigger than India. This park's a proof of concept, take a harsh, empty desert, add some tech and tenacity, and you've got a power hub. Imagine this in the Sahara, the Australian outback, or Chile's Atacama, wastelands turned into whatlands. Locally, it's jobs and growth, globally, it's a blueprint for the green revolution. India's not just playing catch-up, it's aiming to lead, with Kavda as its shining star. The question is, can the world keep up? That's the Kavda Solar Park, India's desert titan rewriting the energy playbook. What do you think, can it spark a global shift, or is it too wild a dream? Tell us in the comments. If this journey blew your mind, smash that like button, subscribe to Global Builds, and hit the bell for more epic projects around the world. Share this with your folks, let's get the world buzzing about Kavda. Thanks for watching, we'll catch you on the next big story.